So in this video, we're going to be talking about tight muscles and muscle spasms, going through why they happen, and of course, what you can do about them to make sure you have relief from them, not just in the short term, but also in the long term. So generally, if you have muscles which are tight, or especially if they're spasming, this is usually for one of two reasons. It's either number one, where there's been overuse, or number two, where your body is adapting to something else which is happening in the body. Now, number one, I mentioned about there being tight muscles from overuse. Typically, this tight muscle is going to be overused in people that are probably more athletic or people who are doing a lot of sports. So when I say overuse, I don't necessarily mean somebody who's been sitting in a desk or sitting at work for a long time over many hours a day. I mean someone who's been doing some real hard physical labor, whether it's physical as part of their job or whether they're, say, an athlete and they're doing hours of exercise every single day. These are the two times where really, at least within those kind of overuse, where it's going to be more from just the overuse of the muscles. However, for a lot of us, especially if say, you know, we wake up and suddenly there's a tight muscle or we're sitting there and suddenly we get the spasm or suddenly something tightens up, it's not usually the muscle that's actually the problem. When it comes to a lot of things in the body, your muscles are your first line of defense. They're the things that are protecting what's happening with other parts of the body, including your bones, including your nerves, including the ligaments, the tendons, and all these other different parts of the body, even including protecting some of your organs. An easy way to think about this is maybe the last time you nearly fell over. You didn't actually fall over, but you nearly fell over. Instinctively, you tense everything in your body. It's not something you want to do, it's something that just happens automatically. And it's your body's way of trying to protect the different parts of the body, even though in this case, you never actually fall over in the first place. So in these cases, your body and your muscles are tensing up to try and help you and protect you. So then it makes sense that we shouldn't just necessarily try to calm down and relax those muscles, but find out what it is they're trying to protect and why they're trying to protect them. One of the things that we see a lot with our patients is they may have tightness in the neck and spasming of the, the neck muscles. And they may say, oh, I reached for a cup of coffee, or I was at work and I turned, or I woke up this way, or maybe I spent too long sitting. But realistically, these things are not usually just from one instance. It's usually from something where it's built up over time, the body is now getting to a point where it's more out of place, and then those muscles will tense up and spasm to try and fix things. Say if we have the, the bones here and they're slightly out of place, so instead of being here, it's a bit more like this. The muscles on this side are instinctively going to try and pull things back. And the majority of the time your body does. Your body's very intelligent and it's constantly fixing and readjusting things the way things should be and what's healthier. However, there are some instances where it may be too much. It's a limitation. You know, the body is not perfect. No one is perfect. And in those cases, instead, that's where we'll have this spasm. Things may not fix fully. So then if we relax that muscle, the muscle is now relaxed, but the bone, the joint, whatever it is that's actually out of place will continue to still be out of place. So the muscle will keep spasming. And this is one thing we see with a lot of people, and it may have experienced it yourself, where you may go for things like, say, massage. But then, you know, one, two days later, the tension comes back. And you keep repeating this cycle, but it doesn't keep really getting better, at least for the longer term. In these cases, that's where we need to find out what that underlying problem is, whether it's at the joint, at the nerve, even for some people, maybe it's something going on with an organ, whatever it is, it needs to be addressed fully to make sure there's that long-term change. To, so to summarize, the real reason that we have these tights in the muscles is either number one, if there has been a lot of physical activity, this is people with hard labor jobs, people doing a lot of physical labor in general, or people who are exercising, or it's where the body's reacting to try and help and protect something else. The best way to find out about this is to either talk with your general doctor, talk with a physiotherapist, or of course talk with a chiropractor, have a consultation and find out exactly what's going on. This is something that we also do as a complimentary call to discuss cases with our patients. This is something that takes five to 10 minutes to get an idea if this is something that we would be able to help with, or if not, we're happy to refer to the right person who can. If anyone has any questions, you can either put them in the comments or you can give us a call at 8438-9550 or email help at vitalitychiropracticcenters.com and we'll make sure we get back to you as soon as possible.